Welcome back to a video game's anniversary of the day, brought to you by Max Cube Gaming. Today marks the 10 year anniversary of the sequel to Castlevania's reboot. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, released for the PS3, Xbox 360, and the PC. Developed by Mercury Steam and published by Konami, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is based on the awakening of centuries after slumber, weakened and yarning for the release from his immortal bonds. Dracula must reclaim his powers and make a pact with death to defeat Satan and gain internal rest. The gameplay is a Devil May Cry story-driven action-adventure game going away from the Metrovania game style into a more modern camera action style. The reception of the sequel wasn't so quite positive to begin with. Metacritic gave it a 58 out of 100 for the PC version, 63 out of 100 for the PS3 version, and a 70 out of 100 for the Xbox 360. Edge gave it a 4 out of 10. Eurogamer gave it a 5 out of 10. GameSpot gave it a 7 out of 10. IGN, a 6.5 out of 10. Drayquist, 4 stars out of 5. Play, a 81% out of 100. Fun Facts, brought to you by GameFacts.blogspot.com Just like the predecessor in Lords of Shadow series, the game retained its title for all regional releases including Japan version. The Paladin is the first boss encountered in Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. The word is borrowed from the literary work The Son of Rodan. A Paladin is a title given to the 12 peers in the Charlemagne courts. Zeberg is unusually fond of wearing the old-fashioned uniform of the Brotherhood of Light. The one that he is wearing is owned by his ancestor, who is one of the founding members of the Order. Trevor Belmoth is also called Rolf Belmundo in Japan's version of the original Castlevania series. He is the third Belmont to be featured as the main protagonist. Alucard's sword, Chrysa Grimm, is a recruiting weapon in the series that was first seen in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Dracula and Dracula are a Romanian Paramanic names used by the royalty of Wallachica. They literally mean as dragon and son of the dragon respectively. So what are your thoughts of the Lord of Shadow sub franchise of the overall Castlevania universe? Did you ever play Castlevania Lord of Shadow 2? And if you did, was it bad? Or did you enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.